finders bullshit or not with the help of two other channels let's find out we got chris at meat cranium barbecue and review we got rico at smoking jazz barbecue we got fred at learn to barbecue today's rules are simple one no binder one water binder and two pick your own i'm going with it is a yellow mustard worcester shire sauce is this a feeble tail twined together in some barbecue guru's basement? Well, today, let's find out. All right, everybody, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, and that is a four racks of St. Louis style of pork ribs, right? I'll leave a, a link up above and a link down below to the uh, three other YouTubers who are also doing this little uh, little collaboration, right? To see if uh, binders are uh, bullshit or not. Sit back, relax while I uh, get my uh, binders and uh, rub on. Alrighty, there you see a no binder, a water binder, Worcester a Shire binder, and of course yellow a mustard a binder. We are going to run our uh, Rec Tech pellet smoker at 275, and I'm looking out approximately a three hour cook, right? A three hour cook. I'll spritz a 30 minutes or so, and also rotate the ribs. I'll spread at times on camera and at times off camera, right? And now there is a no rhyme or reason how I'm placing my uh, ribs in the uh, grill. Just know that I uh, will rotate as best I can, of course. Of course. Of course. And uh, please take note as you're uh, placing your uh, racks of ribs in the grill, uh, straighten your meat out, right? And to kind of push it together. If your meat is a quarter moon shaped, it's gonna cook that way. Your uh, meat will be uh, stretched apart and uh, possibly lose uh, some uh, juice, right? And as you can see, we are at our uh, one hour mark and holding a 275 uh, perfectly. So uh, at this time, uh, let's go in, let's go live and let's take a look. So the yellow, uh, still nice and moist, got some pooling over here, some water pooling. The uh, no, uh, no rub, or no binder I should say. Got a little bit of pooling. I'd say a little bit drier than the mustard. Water. Same thing, a little bit more, a little bit more moisture, I think, back in here. And okay, a little dry up here. And last out is the uh, Worcestershire sauce. Seems to have been held in holding moisture. A little bit better, right? Now we're gonna uh, look. Alrighty, and at this time, uh, let's uh, rotate the uh, ribs, right? There is a uh, well, there is no scientific uh, way I'm doing this. I'm just uh, kind of moving them around and rotating them around, moving one up and moving the rest down. Of course, that's all. It's no big deal. Of course. And I'll also uh, throw them a, a little spritz, right? I'm doing a 50-50 a a apple juice and uh, 
End of 50 water, right? Of course, that's 50, 50, 50. Mm. Another hour down. We're at the uh, two hour mark, holding a 275 uh, nicely, the way uh, Rec Tech seems to always uh, do it. This uh, time, uh, let's go. Uh, let's go in live and uh, let's take a look. This is the uh, water. No, this is the uh, this is the nothing at the two-hour mark. Setting up pretty good. This is the water over here. This is the water over here. Nice browning. Gets a good pull back. Over here is the uh, Worcestershire. The uh, Worcestershire. Good. And the uh, mustard is uh, looking like a. Uh, And uh, here we are at the uh, three hour mark and uh, the uh, ribs uh, look uh, pretty done to me, right? We had some uh, some uh, 30 minutes uh, spritzing that uh, were not shown, so keep that in mind. Uh, the mustard uh, rack looks uh, pretty, uh, well, pretty wrinkly, right, from that uh, mustard on top. But uh, let's get all uh, four racks of uh, ribs in and uh, go from there. Looks good. There's our uh, Worcester Shire. Our Worcester Shire. Worcester Shire. Next up, we have our uh, Agua, right? Our uh, water, of course, our water. And uh, certainly, last but not least, is, uh, well, there's no binder at all. Of course, of course. And, uh, and uh, there you go. Yeah. The uh, nothing, the uh, water, the uh, Worcester Shire, and of course the uh, yellow mustard. It's the uh, nothing, right? The rubs have set up pretty nice. Got a nice color, right? Next to it is the uh, water. Like I said, it's a little more darker. Rub has set up real nice. Got some nice, uh, nice moisture. This is the uh, Worcester Shire. Okay, much like the uh, water, it appears on the uh, darker side on the uh, rub, on the uh, bark. Nice bark. Whereas the, uh, with nothing has hardly not as much as a bark, right? As the uh, water and the uh, Worcestershire have a more of a, a dark color of a bark, right? And uh, like I said, the uh, mustard, this just appears uh, raggedy and old, right? You see the uh, grooves, but does have a, a little bit of a bark on the side there, a little weirdly cooked compared to the yellow ones. Where the other ones are a little bit more uniform, the uh, mustard is a little uh, less uniform, right? I'm gonna cut them open and we'll look at smoke ring. All right, let's cut open the, uh, the nothing, right? And again, we got a pretty nice moisture. See the bones are going like this. So we'll try to uh, okay, we got not much of a smoke ring, right? Now I don't want fall off the bones. That's not what I'm going for. Okay. 
and so I'm going to uh, I'm sorry this is the uh, water this is the uh, water okay smoke ring on the water maybe would you say mm. nice and juicy it's a good looking wood right there the next up is our Worcester Shire next up is our Worcester Shire Worcester Shire As much as a smoke ring as the uh, as the water. And the last up is the uh, mustard, right? Now the mustard appears to be a little bit more dry. Okay. Uh, nice pullback. Definitely ununiform in bark. Right from the mustard. Let's see if we can cut this bad boy open. Right, we want to uh, we want to match our bones. See if we can. Okay. And maybe not as much as a. Uh, smoke ring, right? And a, a weird off uh, ununiform in bark. All right, one last look before we go to our taste test. This is the uh, no binder. No binder. This is the uh, water. The uh, Worcester Shire. And of course, the, the yellow mustard and um, tossed right now. To me, it always goes to the uh, taste, and that's what we're doing. All right, here we go. The uh, first up on the uh, taste test is going to be the uh, the no water, right? The uh, no anything. Awesome, awesome. I mean that's a uh, I mean that's a pretty perfect rib for no sauce. This is a, a no wrap rib, right? So you're not going to get fall off the bone, right? Decent bark on that, but not the greatest bark. Moist. I eat it every day if I could, but the uh, bark is uh, kind of on the low side, right? So next up, we are going to do our water, right? So the uh, first one was nothing. The next up was the uh, water, which does have a little bit better of a bark, right? So let's see if, uh, let's see how it tastes, of course. Mm. Perfect bite, perfect bite. A little bit better of a bark on that, right? I can taste it. Mm. Not fall off the bone, but for a three hour, no wrap. It's pretty damn close. I mean, that is a good rib. Good rib. A Worcestershire, right? Our Worcestershire. We got a little bit of a smoke ring on this. Bark is uh, also like the, uh, I feel like the water bark. This is the most uniform bark along with the water bark. And let's see how it tastes. Mm-hmm. 
I like the Worcestershire the best so far. I mean, look at that. I mean, these are just freaking awesome. Awesome. Let's go with our raggedy looking mustard rub binder rib. Mm. I can taste the mustard. Mm. I can taste the mustard. Very surprising. Mm. Wow. All right, I'm a little surprised. All three, or all four racks are out of this world for sure. The, uh, the no binder, I felt was a little on the dry side. Uh, still an awesome rib, just a little on the dry side. The uh, water binder, I didn't really care for it. Don't get me wrong, I love the rib. I just won't do it again. The Worcestershire binder, Worcestershire binder, was a great rib. It was a great rib. I put that uh, for bark wise. I put the uh, Worcestershire first. Okay, the uh, water one was uh, behind it but probably the second best of bark. But for taste and bark, I'd give it to the Worcestershire, right? For total rib, taste, decent bark, but not uniform, I'd have to say the uh, mustard. If you like a, uh, if you like the uh, mustard a flavor on a rib, okay, some do, some don't. The mustard is hard to beat. You can uh, taste the uh, mustard underneath the uh, bark, which uh, it's not a bad bark, probably the third best bark, but flavor-wise, and the uh, fat broke down nice, it's a good rib. So the uh, final question on my next rib cook-off, how am I gonna cook my ribs? I'm probably going to, uh, I'm going to use a Worcestershire binder, okay? Uh, binder or no binder, I'll never do a water binder again. Mustard, again, the mustard flavor is there and it's good, but I like a little bit more evenly of a bark, which is the uh, Worcestershire binder. I was a little surprised on the uh, no binder rib. Although a very good rib, I'd still give it to the Worcestershire binder. The, uh, the, the nothing and the Worcestershire took this one. I can go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'll never do the water again. And look, whatever I remember to do, either the Worcestershire or just put it in bare is the way I would roll. Mustard, again, it's great, especially if you like the uh, mus mustard flavor, but as far as for the mess and for the unevenness of the bark, okay, the unevenness of the bark, mustard's not for me. So, uh, it's either nothing or Worcestershire. Thanks for joining in, and uh, we shall uh, see you soon.